Hi, you might notice something different with my home switchboard. Check it out. Uh, hey, there seems to be a lot more room magically in here. And there's a few things missing. Spot the before and after. Um, <laughs> here you go. No, I haven't had the switchboard upgraded. But what we did do is remove the two, I used to have two uh, meters here. Uh, one for import and one for export down here uh, for the solar, of course. Um, it's now been just replaced with a new fangled smart meter, which is uh, 4G connected back to the uh, back to the um, energy provider uh, via a 4G SIM, which uh, sits in this bottom half here. So it's got the security tag on there, so I can't uh, take that off. I do actually have uh, some photos inside there, but yeah, it's just like a little Ethernet cable in there connected to like a 4G modemy thing or is it newfangled 5g i don't know um anyway i don't know how they work so well actually um and, and i've got the uh the 4g uh down here for my solar analytics system as well i don't know how they work so well when it's inside basically a metal can i'm sure it's not metal on the back side so but you know front and sides and top and bottom they're all metal Anyway, um, there you go. So yes, now, uh, not only can I get my switchboard upgrade now, um, because that's what we were waiting for. Before we got the switchboard upgraded, uh, we um, needed to switch over to the smart meter so that then, A, we've got room down here to do all this. And then, uh, yeah, it just would have been a mess if we did the switchboard upgrade before we got the meter upgraded. And they also removed the old um off-peak energy meter which uses you know the tone based um system the uh the well well the uh, signal over the mains or what is it one or two kilohertz signal over the mains or whatever to switch your hot water system on or off we haven't used that for a long time uh well actually we've never used it because we've always had gas hot water here so um yeah we've never used that <laughs> so yeah um they are required uh the meter guy told me that they are uh, required to remove that if it's not being used if they go to any house to do any sort of upgrade if that's not being used it must be removed so you can yeah, see the old outline there of the old round meter no i could not get the meters for teardown he says no uh they do want them back and uh like he's got a sign for them that you know he's given them all back and everything so unfortunately no teardown of that but uh there you go i've got a lot more room now isn't that cool so now with the new smart meter I can actually uh, go to, now I can uh, switch to a provider, my current provider doesn't uh, do it, but I can switch to a new provider that uh, provides like uh, time of use um, stuff so I could like potentially uh, charge the battery or the EV or whatever using like really off peak like during the middle of the night or something like that. I know most people already have this but it's a newfangled thing here. Um, so yeah, I, I will now have to look into uh, plans. So leave it in the comments down below if you know of uh, yeah, the best plan in the country for that sort of like, you know, solar um, like charging. Because I know there are one, there's at least two that I'm aware of uh, that will do that sort of thing. But anyway, um, there you go. I've suddenly got tons of room. <laughs> because the two meters are gone, plus the off-peak, plus, uh, 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 no, that's right, it was the, um, no, th and sorry, that was the old energy meter. Sorry, that was the old energy meter, which was not used after we installed these, and then the off-peak thing, that was down here as well. So they've celastic up to all the old uh, holes. So, yeah, so I've taken out four things and replaced it with the one smart meter. So yeah, um, the new switchboard upgrade will happen and I believe they're gonna install two 12-way uh, DIN rails in there. So that'll all tidy up, but uh, still got like half a dozen current clamps in the back of this thing because I've got a complicated system. I've got two solar power, independent solar power systems. I've got a solar analytics system and I've got a Zappy EV charger and they all require current clamps out the wazoo. I think I might even have more than half a dozen. Anyway, lots of current clamps, but there you go. Um, progress on the switchboard. But yeah, like I've still got the old uh, ceramic base uh, f fuses here. So yeah, <laughs> but, uh, and uh, that's the incoming fuse, of course, the uh, 60 um, amp jobby there. Single phase here, it's not uh, three phase. And uh, there's the main uh, incoming supply uh, switch, of course, and uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll let you know when the uh, upgrade happens. And yes, that upgrade will be on camera and we'll be able to talk to and time lapse and do everything. That's already uh, 
sorted out. Just need to get a time and date to do that now. Anyway, there you go. I've joined uh, the, what, 1990s when they start using smart meters. <laughs> finally got around to it um there was just no reason to have it before but now yeah with the battery um and the ev uh could potentially um maybe use some cheapy energy set timers and then like charge the battery or charge the ev during uh, uh you know uh, advantageous time periods anyway um more experimentation with that catch you next time